All right. Our third machine experiment is about behavioral modeling in HDL. So these are the things that you needed to do all throughout the day. Um, you'll be designing a HDL code using behavioral modeling. Again, the approach is behavioral model for the following to input or gate, to input X or gate, to input non gate, three input nor gate, three input X or gate. And then meron tayong catch dito sa letter F for input and gate. Pero nilagay ko dito, kailangan mo ng two bit input vectors A, B, C, and D. And then, gagamit ka rin ng 4-bit output vector for the output variable Z. So, meaning to say, itong A, B, C, D, at saka E, ang approach po natin dito ay scalar pa rin or single bit. Pero yung letter F natin, gagawin na po natin siya na bit vector. Similar to what I have discussed to you earlier. So, ito lang yung theory na pwede mo ring dagdagan based on sa ating um, experimentation about behavioral modeling in BHDL. So, we actually have different types of BHDL modeling styles. And we could actually write our architecture of BHDL in different coding styles. Yung ginawa natin previously, data flow modeling and behavioral modeling. So, doon pa rin naman tayo ikot. Pero eventually, gagamit din tayo ng structural modeling and then meron pa tinatawag na mixed modeling na kinocombine natin yung structural and behavioral approach. So, this is an example of data flow modeling. Ayan. So, an example of HDL code for the AND gate. Again, we have your the header file declaration, which is already common to us. We have your, again, the entity declaration. Again, we have A, B, and then the output Y. So, na-notice natin, um, scalar lang po ito, single bit pa din yung gamit natin. Ginamit lang natin dito sa under logic. And then, for the data modeling style, doon siya, nakalagay sa mismong architecture. So, kapag data flow style, ang lalagay mo lang sa kanya is y less than or equal to a and b. So, this is the the commonly used uh, modeling style, the data flow example. And then, pwede ka rin gumamit ng behavioral approach. For behavioral approach, um, same pa rin naman yung ating entity. Hindi siya nagbago. Pero this time, gumamit tayo ng process. So, yung pangalan ng ating... Um, Entity ay and underscore one underscore behavioral. Then we have here begin process A, B. Then begin and then we have your end the behavioral. And then of course, um, since meron tayong begin ng process, inen natin yung process. And then we have your if statement. If A is equal to one and B is equal to one, then we assign the value of C, the value of one. Else, we assign the value of C, the value of zero. So, in BHDL, marami tayong modeling styles that we could use so that we could describe our digital circuits. Um, marami pong different types. Sinabi ko na ngayon kanina, web 4, di ba? Pero ngayon, gusto ko ipakita sa inyo examples ng 3 input nor gate for each. For example, ng behavioral modeling at saka data flow modeling kasi yun yung kailangan yung gawin for our third experiment. Again, take note, pag sinabi natin behavioral modeling, it describes the function of a circuit without specifying its structure. It uses high-level constructs, if else statements and processes. So, ito yung keyword. Para malaman mo, ah, behavioral pala yung approach ko, gumagamit ka ng if else statements and then processes. So, forget about this one, yung header file, common na to sa atin. Dito pinangalan natin yung entity as nor3 underscore behavioral kasi we would like to design 3 input nor gate. And then we have ports A, B, C, standard logic, then Y, standard logic. So meaning to sa example na to, scalar pa rin, one bit pa din. Then architecture behavioral of NOR3 underscore behavioral. So ito ulit yung entity natin kanina. Then we have the name of the architecture behavioral, we have to end the behavioral. Then take note, since ang approach po natin ay behavioral modeling, so kailangan meron akong if, else statements and processes. So, meron akong begin and then end process here. So, ipoprocess ko yung input. So, I have your three ports, A, B, at C. Kaya nilagay ko dito A, B, at saka C. And then, we have your begin, then end the process. Then, if, to na yung sinabi kanina na if, else statements, if the value of A and the value of B and the value of C is zero, then we assign the value of Y to 1. Else, the value of Y to 0. Take note of the 
through table for the operations of nor gate. Di ba nor gate not or? So kaya ito po yung ginamit natin na expression dun sa ating if else statements. So this is one um, example na kailangan mong gawin dito. Yan. So one version na nakabehibural and then another version na dapat naka data flow. Ano naman yung data flow? So data flow modeling uses concurrent signals assignment statements so that we could describe how data flows through the circuit. So ang keyword concurrent signal assignment statement. So again, we have your the library or the header file, the entity, the name of the architecture, which is this time data flow of nor pre underscore data flow. Ayan, so change natin yung um, behavioral dito. Change natin to data flow. Pwede ganun yung gawin nyo so that hindi po tayo ma-confuse. And then since data flow po ito, assignment lang yung ginawa po natin, signal assignment. We assign the port Y to be equal to not A or B or C. So again, yung sa ating third experiment, dito sa A, B, C, D, at saka E, even sa F, gagawa ka lang ng two versions, one for the data flow, another version for the behavioral. Alright? And then another challenge po sa atin is how are we going to implement a VHDL data flow model for two input NAND gate with four bit vector inputs and an eight bit vector output. So, di ba ang gusto ko dun sa letter F? Ayan, vectors yung gagamitin natin for the inputs and outputs. So, paano ba natin siya na implement? So, example na to is for um, two input NAND gate. Ayan. So, again, meron ulit tayong header file. And then take note, meron na tayong changes dun sa ating um, entity. Yung pangalan na entity natin, none to underscore vector. Web ports A and then B, then output Y. Pero ang ginamit natin dito, standard logic vector. Little engine convention, 3 down to 0. Ibig sabihin niyan, 4 bits. Yung most significant bits niyan, yung nasa leftmost part. Ganon din yung Y. Yung ating output, sinet natin as 8 bits, 7 down to 0. Most significant bit uli niyan ay nasa leftmost part. Similar to what I have instructed here. And then, meron na tayo ngayon ditong architecture data flow of none to underscore vector is begin and then we end the data flow. Ito na yung for setting the output. Ang ginawa natin for the output, since 8 bits po yung output natin, dinivide natin into 2. Yung una, yung 3 down to 0 and then 7 down to 4. Ibig sabihin yung 7 down to 4, ito yung nasa most significant bit, 7, 6, 5, 4. And then yung papuntang least significant bit, ito yung 3, 2, 1, 0, papunta dun sa rightmost part. Then sinet natin yung value nitong 3 down to 0 to be the negation of A and B. That is the first four bits of the output. And then ganun din ang ginawa natin for 7 down to 4. We set the value of that being equal to not a and B, the second four bits of the output. Again, kailangan lang alam mo yung operations in order for you to build your architecture. So this is the explanation relative to what I have discussed. Again, the entity declaration defines the inputs A and B as four bit vectors and the output Y as an eight bit vector. And then we build the architecture for the data flow. We uses concurrent signal assignment to describe the non operation. The NAT A and B operation is applied to the 4-bit vectors A and B and the result is assigned to both halves of the 8-bit output vector Y. This model also demonstrates how to use vector inputs and outputs in a data flow style, which is useful for more complex designs where you need to handle multiple bits simultaneously. Again, so for the experiment, you have to do two approaches, data flow and behavioral model for A to F and then ma-appreciate ko kung gagawa ka rin ng explanations just like what I did. Pwede mong itabulate yung mga results and then make the necessary explanations and observations on your machine experiment. Thank you.